Okay. Um, part two. Oh, that. I'll just start this again. Um, okay. Back to the video. Are we here? Yes, we are. I'm back. Part two of optimizing. Uh, so we're working on the left hand side and we're making sure we include all the elements we're copying over from the left side template to the right side where the, we're actually creating a new page putting all the elements in order. So we've got the song list taken care of, as you can see, with custom HTML. We've got the little free audio sampler that we put right there. And the next thing down below is this little uh, My Wedding Music um, app image. So I'm going to copy that. Custom HTML. Let's look at anything else here. And then we've got this little... Uh, it's a caption for that, for the image that's right above it. And I use paragraph paragraph daily for that and then I put a divider and then for this little section here is a paragraph as well and then the next section below is going to be custom HTML for three photos um, it's only showing one but there's actually three photos in there so I'm gonna finish that up and be right back okay I finished putting all of the elements into this page to kinda give us the basic layout of the page as you can see if I go up and down. Now the next thing after we've done all that is to make sure that we've optimized everything for that keyword that the page is assigned to. Now we've already done this up here. We've got the keyword Austin cover bands in this title and one way you can get one way that you can get some SEO value is to put this put the keyword in the tags and titles of the images on the page. Now that's why we used custom HTML. If I go down here and another thing is, is we want to rotate out the photos so the photos are always the same um, for every page. So the places that you can look at for photos are here, over, and then over here. These are the two spots that you're going to edit. And first thing I would do actually is just go in here and you can actually look down here and you'll see a thing that says image alt. That is the alt tag. So as you can see right here that it's got a different keyword in it. So we want to change that to Austin cover bands and, and you know, maybe referring to the picture itself. So put Austin cover bands group pick. And then also in, we're going to put that exact same thing in the title down here. I'm going to leave strings attached in. Oops. So I'm changing the title tag. See how it says title right here? And make sure that you're going in between the quotes, that you don't erase one of those quotes. So Austin Cover Band Group. Strings attached pick. And all of these tags are going to be indexed by Google and tell Google that this page is about that keyword. So here's <coughs> now down here we have three photos in custom HTML. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that HTML and I'm going to paste it into that editor, this little demo editor, uh, which I have, I have referenced in the checklist. If you go down here for the checklist, you'll see that here's the editor, the uh, address to get to the editor. And here's some code here that you can use for images, the basic code that we use if you ever have to use that. And then also I've got the code down here. It says use this code for the multiple photos on the left-hand side of the page. So all of this code will input three photos. Now, so if you're not really good with code, then you can use this demo HTML editor. What you see is what you get editor. And if I look at it in this way right here, I'm actually seeing how it comes out on the web page. If I click source, it'll show me the code in the background. So I'm going to paste that code in there that I got from over here because I want to put three photos in there that are different. Right now it's just the same photo. We've got one pick, two pick, three pick. So uh, what I can do is, excuse me, let me come right back after I sneeze. <laughs> okay, um, we'll be, we're going to be giving you a folder that you can um, retrieve photos, but for this example I'm going to go to a section on the site that has photos. So, to grab the photos to put in there, I'm going to go to the picture section of the website right here. And 
let's pick out three band looking photos, okay? Because we're dealing with the cover band, so they need to relate to the cover band. So let's leave this one and let's pick, uh, let's do this one here on the right. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to hit the image URL, copy the image URL, come over here to my little HTML editor. Now if I go here and click on it and then go to this little link here where it says image, click on that, it brings up all the information. You see it's got the alt text right in here. So the image URL I'm going to put in here and that's going to change the picture as you can see. And then under the alternate text I'm going to put in Austin cover band, the keyword that we want to use. This is just one way to get that alternate text in there. Let's look over here. <coughs> Okay, great. Uh, this little locking thing here will lock the ratio. We want to lock that because if I want to change the size of the photo, make it a little smaller. Okay, I can go over here and I can put in 300. That'll size it down a little better. There we go. <coughs> so that's my second photo. And now let's pick out a third photo. Let's use something that's more band oriented. How about this one with James and Wirtry? So right click on it, grab the image URL, go back to my little editor. Carrie Wooten's calling me. Do you want to grab that? Click on this pic, go to the image editor, change the alternate text here. Okay, and then I'm going to go under source again and just check to make sure all of the title tags. Okay, this one here says title pick one, so I'm going to put the, the keyword in there Austin cover bands. Right, that's our keyword, right? Austin cover bands, yes. I'm going to put Austin cover band pick. The next one I'll say Austin cover band pick two. And then the next one will be Austin cover band pick three. Pick three. Now let's go back here. Awesome. Let me just double check if everything's got looking good here. So you notice how I put the keyword Austin cover bands. Austin cover bands. The keywords are in all of the alt, tag, alt tags. This one needs to change. Okay, I'm going to copy this HTML. I'm going to bring it back over here. And now we'll have three photos. Click on the edit. Paste it in there. Boom. Great. So now we've optimized the images, the alt tags, and the title tags to contain the keyword. Awesome. So this page is ready to go. So it's been optimized. It's good. It's good to go. I've got the see keyword here. I've got a keyword here. I've got the keywords. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention is in the video, if you go back to our active keyword file, if you see here this Austin cover band, <coughs> under here there's video with keyword. If there is a URL for a video here, then you want to insert the code for that video over here. And and that is also going to be in custom HTML, as you can see right over here. So I am going to show you how to do that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I just noticed that if you look here on the title of the video, we already have the keyword in there, Austin Cover Bands. So but in any case, if you see a video in here, let's just take this one for example. You would click on it, and the way to get the code is you go down here to share, and then you go embed, and then we want it, all you want to do is grab this code right here. That's all you need, okay? Is this R number? You can also get it up here. We'll just grab it right there. Copy that. Come over here. Click on the edge to get to the code, and then replace that right here. Boom. 
and now you've got that specific video in here with a keyword as you can see right up here but that's only in the case if there is a URL in this field for the keyword that you're working on so we've optimized this page so I can go over here and click on Austin cover bands we're working on this one so we'll click boom we've optimized it now we're gonna get the landing page is really easy Austin cover bands okay what's this one I'm just checking this one here for a second okay great so it's going to be basically the keyword like this Austin dash Austin dash cover dash bands dot HTML and that's how we find the URL and we're going to paste that right here and then we are done so then we would just go on to the next keyword over here which is Austin wedding bands and go through that whole process of what we just went through let's check over my list here and uh, from the top to the bottom let me make sure I covered everything looks like I have yep alrighty that's all that you need to do and you can email me will at willtaylor.com or call me 512-775-2371 if you have any questions um, or jazz viola will on Skype. Great.